It's a cold, brisk day after Thanksgiving, November 2021, and we're here at the Montvale station. And it's interesting from the standpoint that uh, the single track crosses right through a busy intersection. So I guess traffic here on this parallel road can still go if it wants to go to the right. But I was on Grand Avenue, which crosses the tracks here. This is a little short ADA accessible platform here at the end. In a cute station house with a decent roof. So it's just single track here. And we're looking north towards New York State. There are three more stations in New York State and Rockland County going north, but it looks like it goes right into the forest, like uh, you wouldn't expect the train to go. But here's the map, and we're here at Montvale, and then the next station is Pearl River, and then Nanuet, and then Spring Valley. And to the south is Park Ridge and Woodcliffe Lake and Hillsdale. So there is service on weekends. Just a quick look at the station. It's got a few benches. Not much parking. I parked at this little lot here. I guess there's another remote lot over there through the trees. But not much in the way of parking. And I'll put the ridership figures here for Montville on the screen. I'll just take a little walk around the station. It's in like a little park, so it's unique that standpoint from what I've seen a lot of the uh, Pascac Valley Line trains are cute and quaint so the parallel road is Kinder Kamek Road so they have a little bike parking and here's where the ramp comes down from the accessible platform, which also has its own bench. Train station's closed at night. I don't know if it's open now. Let's look at those restrooms. So that's it for Montvale. We're here in Park Ridge is a cute little depot again it's single track on the Pascac Valley line and I just was driving on Park Avenue which came from Kinder Kamek Road and Park Avenue is also named James Gandolfini Way so must be where the star of the Sopranos is from Park Ridge. So the a little uh, deterioration of the gable up there and some peeling paint, but otherwise it's cute. It's raining just slightly. There's the uh, station master's office. 
Doesn't look like it's still used as a waiting room, but I could be wrong. Shows you some fresh paint that's needed here. Park Ridge Train Depot. Constructed in the late 19th century, restored in the late 20th century. On a local historical walk. And I've seen a couple of uh, new apartment developments to the north here. Looking north. Got my wind slayer on my camera today because it's windy. So hopefully that's decreasing this the sound of the wind. It's raining a little bit too, even though it's sunny, but you can see dark clouds. So this is the uh, station platform, single platform on the west side of this station. So there is a big parking garage there, which I don't know if commuters can use that, but it looks brand new. The platform warning strip can be fixed. It's a little spotty here due to some erosion of the concrete underneath. New luxury rentals right by the station. So now we're going to walk directly into the sun. No way to avoid that. But I believe that this platform is on both sides of James Gandolfini Way. So that's unusual that a street cuts right through the boarding platform. Every station is unique. At least on this line and several of the other lines. It doesn't have the arrows of which way uh, trains go, but to the left is Spring Valley, to the north and to the right, to the south is Hoboken. And these, uh, Platform warning strips are coming up too. I feel them kind of bouncing under my feet, so that should be addressed. And you see how the platform continues on the other side of Park Avenue or James Gandolfini Way. So I'm just walking around the station. wind is really kicking up now. It's got a little cupola up there. Very nice. Some benches. Bicycle shop. It's another new apartment building across the street. Maybe more. down this way looking west okay it's got a little uh, gazebo over here in a park right by the station yeah the platform warning strip really needs to be fixed here at this station the shelter is maintained by the borough of Park Ridge, it says. So here we are on the map. We were just in Montvale and now we're in Park Ridge. Next stop, Woodcliffe Lake. And I'd say Park Ridge was only like a half mile south of Montvale. 
So we have some benches here dedicated to family members. Sign is missing there. So if you lived in this Park Ridge condominium complex, boy, it'd be so convenient to walk over to the station right here. And looking down again, it's like your treks go into the forest. So that's it for Park Ridge. And we'll continue south from here. It's hard to know where to point the camera first here. It's a really scenic location here for the Woodcliffe Lake Station. The next station south of Park Ridge. So it's still a single track will be the whole time in this group of four stations we're taking a look at the station house is the first and only one I've seen that has Christmas lights on it so it's got a bench and a curb and a little yellow line that you should step back from when you're waiting for the train. You could even lean against a post while you're waiting for a train. It's a, you don't see that too often. It's a very short platform. So this is not accessible. There's no little raised platform. And there's the eponymous Woodcliffe Lake. So, it's just a very quaint little stop. Let's just see if there's anything going on in the waiting room. It does seem to be an actual waiting room with benches. And a space heater. Just wonder if it's open, I can see here. I doubt it, but nope. So that is Woodcliffe Lake with an interesting house with a mansard roof across the street. And What's the next station we're going to take a look at here on the Pascack Valley line? That would be Hillsdale. Hillsdale next. Well, here we are in Hillsdale, where there's some new housing development. And Christmas trees are starting to be sold the day after Thanksgiving 2021 late November Thanksgiving was nice and sunny and warm today is much colder and windier So there's roads crossing the tracks every which way here in Hillsdale. So there's a lot of crossing gates that have to go down whenever a train passes through. And here's just a real charmer of a station house at Hillsdale. So we'll cross minute. It's going to take a while. There's a 
closer look at the station house. It just looks like it's on a registry of historic places. Oh, here comes a train coming north. The first time I've seen a train on the Pascack Valley Line. And this station closer up, it needs a paint job. Peeling. The waiting room, it says it's open on Saturday and Sundays. And Fridays until 5. You can see. But let's stay out here so we can see the train come. You can see, hopefully you can't hear the wind because of my wind slayer on my camera, but wind is kicking up. So that train is coming from Westwood, which is the next station south, which I show in a separate video. And here the platform is in good shape, asphalt platform. And you can hear all the crossing gates going down. It's a real cacophony, or do you say cacophony? This train really has to be careful because there are so many crossing gates. Six car train. Let's see how many people get off. I guess just uh, one car deboards because the uh, northern part of the train is where you can't get off because there's bushes in the way. Anyway. All right, so we're just going to... And let's walk around the station house. Quaint little park. Headed for Woodcliffe Lake. Next stop to the north. Built in 1870. Let's see if you get a better look at the waiting room here without the reflection. And the traffic resumes. Hillsdale on the Pascack Valley line. <laughs> 